And if there's three tips, share those three tips. And at the end, your call to action could simply be send me a message or give me a call today and see how I can help you. Hey everyone, Jamel Gibbs here. Welcome to another podcast episode. Today we have another special guest where we're going to talk about virtual wholesaling on today's podcast. Now, this is something I'm, I'm very passionate about, as you guys know. Um, love virtual wholesaling, especially right now. You know, we've been going through a lot of things over the last six, seven months during this pandemic, and we're limited on what we can do in our real estate business as far as meeting people in person. Now, obviously, real estate investing is a people's business. It's a in-your-face type of business, right? And me being from New York, I love to meet people face-to-face. Uh, and shake hands and touch and feel. That's how we like to do business. And that's why real estate is my preferred business. But unfortunately, we're dealing with uh, circumstances that uh, we don't have control over. And because of that, we're forced to do business in other ways. Uh, I've been virtual wholesaling myself for uh, a, a very long time. And so have our special guests. And we're going, to talk, uh, we're going to talk shop about virtual wholesaling and how it's affecting her business, uh, why it's been uh, a, a benefit to her. She's made the transition over completely, even on the education side, into a virtual and doing video marketing and things like that. We're going to talk about all of this stuff and how you can take what she's doing and implement it into your business as well. So I want to welcome our good friend, Lolita. Uh, Sheryl to the call all the way from you got it <laughs> all the way from uh, what is it Dallas Texas right Dallas Fort Worth yes sir Dallas Fort Worth area <laughs> how, how are you doing today I'm doing well and you know what young man thank you so much for having me on I'm honored to be here thank you very much for joining us it is a it's a real pleasure to have you you know I was just telling you before we jumped on the line um, you know, for me, it's been, I, I want to say at least four or five months, uh, I've, I've been trying to figure out how to get in contact with you. And finally, <laughs> uh, I, I think I put something <laughs> on Facebook. Yeah, I, I reached out a little while ago, um, but I'm, I'm not sure if I was reaching out to the, to the right account or I'm not gotcha. sure. But um, finally, you responded to something I put on Facebook and I said, I got it. I got to Got to get her on the line. <laughs> so I really appreciate you. Uh, yeah. all thought, I really appreciate you taking the time to, to join us today. It's a real, real pleasure to have you. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? How, how did you get started in a real estate business? Sure. Well, I am 13, 14 years in uh, nice. as of this year. Um, I was working at Countrywide Home Loans and back in 07, 08. And right when the market crashed housing market you know went down and they laid us off they shut down our department and about six months before uh we were laid off or they just you know shut us down i had already been studying aggressively mm -hmm. you know real estate investing how to get in and there was a couple of my co-workers that were investors themselves that had purchased properties they were you know landlords and i started networking locally uh, they're in the Dallas Fort Worth area, going to different real estate investing groups, uh, staying up late at night when I got off work, researching on the internet, learning all that I could. Because uh, back then I couldn't afford, you know, to pay uh, a guru 20, 30, 40,000. Um, but honestly, looking back at it, if I would have asked and been in the right mindset, I probably could have gotten that money. But that's a whole nother, you know, discussion that's with growing and learning. Um, but once, you know, I, I closed my first deal, it was a subject to deal. Uh, the buyer I never met, he PayPal'd me the money after I, you know, got the deal, uh, contracted, took pictures, emailed it to him. We got on the phone, talked about it. And he said, yep, wanted the deal, signed it, you know, the paperwork, got it notarized, sent back to me. And I think it was $2,500. And from that moment, I was hooked. You know, so, it was, a, it was a, you it know, was that's a kind of a short that version. Point. Yeah, yeah. That's kind of a short version of how, you know, I got, you know, I got started, I guess, with real estate investing. But I've always been entrepreneurial. Um, growing up as a kid, East Texas, uh, I am an only child. I'm an only grandchild uh, to my, my grandparents, my mother's parents. Um, I'm super close to my family. Uh, family is a large part of my why. 
Mm -hmm. So, and they've been throughout the years very supportive. Um, but to kind of, you know, with where we are, like you had stated earlier uh, in the intro, you know, the times that we're in and how just so much has changed, our worlds have changed, how we do business has changed. I think a lot of uh, hardships and tragedies that I had to personally deal with uh, in dealing with the loss of family since the course of time that I've been an entrepreneur uh, has impacted me greatly and has changed a part of my why as an entrepreneur 2020 version. And I think with uh, going through some depression and some hardships, even within the business for a, a period of time, um, I had to learn how to get better. Mm. So 2018, Mother's Day weekend, drove down to East Texas, saw my mom like I normally do. Whatever's going on in my life, I put it aside just so I can focus on her. She looked me in my eyes and said, where's my daughter? What's going on with my daughter? And I broke down. I broke down. And we had a long conversation. She gave me an action plan. And one of those things was to get back active, lose weight. I've always been athletic, but I had blew up to about 210, 215. And uh, anyway... That was probably the main shift uh, with me going through some tragedies in my life at that time. Gotcha. So I got myself together. January of 2020 comes. Me and my business partner, we're rocking and rolling. We got fresh goals, you know. Boom, March hits. Everything's changed. COVID pandemic. I've been virtually wholesaling deals and doing real estate for the last 10 plus years. So what we did was we just kind of repivoted and shifted our business to fit what we are dealing with now. Small um, oh, Go ahead. Small tweets, basically. Yeah, small tweets. But it's made all the difference. And, and we're busy. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm grateful for that. But one of the things we're doing is teaching. We're teaching other people, just like you. You have a heart to teach. We're teaching people how they can get started and buy and sell houses using their cell phones or their laptops so that they can generate additional income for their families, especially now with what's going on. People need money. Mm -hmm. They Absolutely. just need money. Ain't nobody, you know, a lot of people may not necessarily be thinking about building wealth right now. They yeah. just want to survive. That's How can it. I make that extra thousand? How can I make the extra 5,000? How can I make the extra 10,000 to pay bills? So we, we teach that as well. I love it. And, 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 you know, honestly, for what we do on the education side of things, you know, it really is comforting to know that we're putting forth the effort to help other people, uh, especially with, with our specialized knowledge that we have. We're sharing that special, specialized knowledge to help people in order to be able to help them change their lives. Yes. I was telling a friend of mine uh, just yesterday, as a matter of fact, he reached out to me. He's trying to get started in real estate but he's afraid. And I told him, I said, look, don't be selfish. And he said, what do you mean? I said, by you being afraid to make a few mistakes, take some action, you're being selfish because you're preventing yourself and the people around you, your family, your friends, everybody who's in contact with you from having the opportunity of having an incredible life. Yes. You know, so if I you're listening- that. If, yeah, if you're listening to this podcast, I'm going to say the same thing to you guys. Don't be selfish, right? Don't be afraid. Fail forward. Take action, but do something because your little bit of action is going to have a major impact on everybody else around you. So I love that. Absolutely. And you could not have said that better, but that's, that's my whole motto. That's who I am. Mm, Take action low. And one day I was just thinking, I was praying. I said, I need to simplify this. And I talk to my business partner, I talk to my business coach. You know, you talk to different people that's close to you that know you. Like, I need to kind of simplify my message, you know, especially now. And it's simply, you know, you have to learn how to take action so that you can do things different in order to be better. Whether it's become a better entrepreneur, whether it's become a better version of yourself. Mm. But those are the things that you have to do. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love where this conversation is going already. We, we, there's so much to talk about right now. Yes. And um, why don't we uh, dive into real estate a little bit and talk about uh, 
you know, tell me a little bit about how you uh, made the transition. Uh, did you start off, obviously you were in the mortgage industry and you got into real estate. How did you make that transition into virtual investing? Very good question. I early adopted social media, internet marketing. Nice. Um, 07, 08 and on up until now. I was always fascinated by it. And one of the reasons, honestly, is that where we live, we live kind of on the outskirts of Fort Worth, Texas. So to drive to get to Fort Worth or to drive to get to Dallas, it's an average, I don't know, 35, 45 minutes. Mm. And starting out, you know, and even in our area, our, our area was a new development area. So it wasn't a lot of houses around anyway. So when I started the real estate business and started marketing or doing the door knockings and the early, you know, just, just banded signs, things that we all did a lot back in those days. I was like, man, this is costing a lot of gas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if appointments didn't work out or if people didn't call you to cancel and you drive all the way, I'm like, you know what? I need to find a better way. So back then I just started really diving in and started learning more about how to leverage these social media platforms mm. to do business, to generate business. So I think with that and over time, and even starting my YouTube channel, I think back in 09, 2010, um, and I had some years, I know we talked about this off camera. I had some years where I only did a few videos a year. And it was because I didn't, I knew it was serious. I needed to put my foot forth, but I just didn't know. And I was doing other things. We're in the same boat. You same see what I'm saying? Boat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but understanding now, yeah, video the is the most consumed content on the planet. Yep. Right now, you have millions and millions of people that are unemployed, that are still at the house, still at the house, that are still quarantining, whether they want to or not, you know, or whether it's, you know, they, they can go out or not, there's still a ton of people that's going to stay home. So what is the best and the most effective way that you can connect with your next potential lead? It's doing this right here, is leveraging video. So that's one of the things that we've learned and, and have gotten pretty good at uh, using to generate business, you know, for us. Not only deals, sellers, motivated seller leads, <clears throat> excuse me, buyer leads, but also clients <clears throat> for our programs. So, so what's some of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to video and virtual investing that you think a, a newbie would have uh, or uh, someone who, who's been thinking about doing it but hasn't, hasn't taken that, that next step to, to get started doing it. What's some of the biggest misconceptions uh, they might have in regards to that matter? Oh, it's too late. Everybody's doing it now. <laughs> that is a lie. Yep. It's more people doing it. Yeah. But everybody's not doing it. Every real estate investor is not doing videos. Every real estate investor in your market that may be your competitor is not doing videos. You are probably the top one if you get started wherever you are whatever markets you want to dominate to really have success if you do it and leverage it the right way even if it's crowded so mm -hmm. no it's not too late this is the time where you need to start learning and start getting maybe out of your fear this is another thing i hear all the time oh i'm scared to go on camera and my whole philosophy now is if you're an entrepreneur in business you better get in front of the camera right if you're going to stay in business. It's that simple. There's no way around it. And if you really want to look at it, you can look at the data. Just Google, you know, how much videos have impacted consumers from every niche, whether you're going to buy a car, a house, you know, merchandise. So get in front of the camera. This is the new it. It's like reading That's books it. or watching TV back in the 60s. <laughs> That's right. You know, this is the new it. This is the uh, new it. I new like video. that. <laughs> you know, so, you know, at the end of the day, you know, a lot of people are fearful. You know, me, uh, and, and you mentioned it as well, when we started our YouTube channels right around the same time, 2008, 2009, um, we didn't understand the power of where video was going, but it's evident where it is now and where it's going to be. So if you're not in front of the camera, if you're too uncomfortable, it goes back to what we were talking about earlier. 
you're being selfish. Don't be selfish. Right? Don't do get it. in front of the camera. Get familiar. Yes. With the camera. That's how you. That's how you're gonna grow. That's it's it. Gonna utilize that in your real estate business as well, right? Absolutely. And, yep. and it, let me add this: it doesn't matter what you look like. Yep. What you sound like. You know, if you're using your mobile phone, or you know. Uh, if you are able to, you know, have affordable big cameras, but you don't have to start out with expensive equipment, right. start with your phone, just Everybody get in front of it you. and shoot a short introduction of who you are. That's right. And if you don't, you're not sure what to say, get on Google, get on YouTube and, and, you know, search it. There's so many ways, but yeah. Yeah. That um, definitely lends itself to uh, this question as well. Does it take a mental shift, a mindset shift to, uh, want to do something like this again thinking about what we were doing on youtube putting three videos up me personally i was too lazy to do more than three videos a year <laughs> <laughs> i was just too busy right so right does it take that mindset shift to be consistent with something like this absolutely you have to learn how to be uncomfortable mm. and understanding that the very things that you fear is what you should be doing in order to break that dam of opportunities open for you and for your family. The very things you fear. So if getting in front of that camera is what you fear, that is probably the thing that's going to change your business. Right. And help you take it to the next level. There's a saying, and I'm sure you've heard this before, be comfortable or get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Absolutely. And it's, that's, a, that's an even more perfect quote in the times that we're in now. Absolutely. Absolutely. Get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Yes. So what are some of the obstacles that um, our listeners might face when transitioning into video content for their real estate business? Probably the frustration if you're not technical. Uh, and you're having to learn. And, and I know that, you know, I hear a lot of that feedback. Um, well, it's just, it's just a lot, you know, mm. and, and, and that particular client may go ahead and, you know, pay, you know, pay us to go ahead and set certain things up for them. But I think it's, it's the technical side. But if you just take the time to learn and not be afraid of it because it's here and it's not going anywhere at all, it's not. So take the time to learn or take the time to learn how to partner with someone else that's really good at mm. the technical aspect that can set your business up, set up your CRM, set up your marketing campaigns, your text message campaigns, or whatever it is that you use uh, and want to use for your business um, or invest, you know, like I said, outsource it. That's some great advice right there. Yeah. So if we had to think about some of the things that our listeners needed to be mindful of, like moving forward, they want to get started. So they're saying, Hey, uh, Jamel Lolita, we want to get started. What should we, what should we keep in mind? Uh, moving, moving forward. Keep in mind as you're transitioning to, um, a virtual platform for your business is that, uh, it's going to help you. So you have to have that mindset and understanding that this is this software or this app is to benefit me and my business. So let me learn how to use it for my good and just be prepared, be prepared for updates and things that may change. Uh, also be prepared when done correctly for the leads, for the business that's going to come in and be generated you know, it's set up properly. So I, I would say, you know, those, those two things. Gotcha. Gotcha. And when we, let, let's just say we wanted to, uh, we're, we're um, I guess we're taking a stance of somebody who's brand new right now. Mm -hmm. they're, they're shy in front of the camera, but they understand the benefits of having video. Are we using those, using those videos on our websites? Are we doing YouTube videos? Are we doing Instagram lives. What, what are we doing with the videos in order to drive sellers into Good. our businesses? Good question. So I think I can answer that two ways. If you're new and if YouTube may be an intimidation where you're not ready to dive into YouTube yet, and I've heard that, mm -hmm. then start a Facebook uh, business page 
that's, you know, whatever market that you're in, that you want to generate seller leads, uh, make it where it's for that particular community. So if you want to generate leads, say, in Oak Cliff, Oak Cliff is a certain part of Dallas, uh-huh. in Oak Cliff, then you would want to create a business page, you know, we buy houses fast in Oak Cliff, of Dallas, Texas, right. or whatever it is. And what you want to do is start shooting uh, short videos. One can be an intro video where you simply say, hi, my name is Lolita. I'm a local investor here in the Dallas area, more specifically Oak Cliff. I love Oak Cliff because I'm from Oak Cliff. My grandparents um, were here in Oak Cliff and I just love it. So we buy and sell houses here. We'd love to work with you to see how we can help you and your family. Blah, blah, blah. You want a short little introduction that's about a minute, maybe a minute and a half long. And then you can schedule out short videos that you can share maybe twice a week. Depending on how hungry and aggressive you are, you can do one a day, a super aggressive. But let's say one a week. You want to share different tips. And if you don't know, you can go to Google and search frequently asked questions from homeowners that need to sell their house fast. (laughs) Start there. And if there's three tips, share those three tips. And at the end, your call to action could simply be send me a message or give me a call today and see how I can help you. So that's, that's a, one way. That's, that's one a really way good how point. Get started. Mm-hmm. That's a really, really good. That's a really good tip right there. You could actually do that with anything. Yeah. You even you just gave me a couple <laughs> ideas just now. It's funny. You, you learn something new every day, and every yes. single time I do a podcast, I learn something new. That's a really good tip right there. I'm going to use that for some other aspects of my business as well. Well, I'm glad you are. And and let me tell you this too, again, depending how hungry you are, if you want to dominate in other markets to start generating leads, then create separate Facebook business pages for those markets. Mm. That is. You got me? Another great tip. (laughs) (laughs) That's, man, so, so. If, say, for example, you wanted to step into Houston or mm-hmm. you want to step in San Antonio or you mm-hmm. want to go to Los Angeles or whatever the case may be. What Lolita is saying is set up a separate Facebook page for each of those markets. Absolutely. And you can and literally more, dominate it. From exactly. There. And, and if you have a large city like, like Dallas, Dallas is huge, then you can, eat, you can cover all of Dallas, but it's, it's good if you can niche it to South Dallas or North Dallas. Or again, mm. it may be a certain area like Oak Cliff that's specific uh, to the where- more, The more mm-hmm. specific you get, the better, basically. Exactly. Got you. And, and it can help you dominate quicker because you have less competition. So, and it'd be good to even search. You can go on Facebook and search and see if there's groups already that exist for those, you know, for the areas that you want. And if that's the case, then change up the name. Instead of We Buy Houses Fast, Oak Cliff, you can change it to Sell Your House Fast to Us, Oak Cliff. Mm -hmm. You know, so there's different things that you can do. So do you run paid traffic as well, or are you just doing uh, organic traffic at the the moment? We do Facebook ads. So we, we do run some ads. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. So if we had to give our listeners, let's say a five step process to getting started with video marketing and driving seller leads and even building a buyer's list, because you can use these methods with building a buyer's list as well mm-hmm. in your real estate business. What would you, what would you say would be those three to five steps? Three to five steps so they can start doing videos. So they can start just driving leads through videos. Gotcha. In their business. Uh, create your Facebook page specific to that area. Um, start creating one or two videos a week that's specific and maybe answering questions, top questions at homeowners that, you know, that they have, especially dealing with the COVID area. You know, mm-hmm. this time that we're in, people want to know about mortgage forbearance. That's another thing you can do. Google the trends that's specific to homeowners, to mortgages, to forbearances, because there's a lot of activity out there. There's gonna be even more activity at the first of the year. So I would Google, so you could you know, really have that data and that information and see you know, what, what's being talked about daily and, and set your content specific to that, to mm-hmm. talk to the seller about that. Because what you wanna do is start building that trust. And that's how you do that. 
if you have a whole page dedicated to a certain area that you want to dominate and you're posting content that's specific to that and you're answering questions and being resourceful, that is a magnet. And when you, uh, you can also boost, you can boost those videos. So I know that's a whole nother topic when it comes to, you know, setting up different type of ads, whether it's yeah. a video view ad, whether, you know, to gather data, to create custom audiences. So it's a lot on the back end of that, but there's so many things that you can do with the Facebook page that's specific to the area. Cause once you get those keywords in there, and you start feeding that machine, guess what? Google's gonna reward you for that. They're gonna put you in front of those homeowners that live in Oak Cliff, you know, and they'll start responding. But you have to be consistent. Gotcha. So, so those things, you know, of course, slapped with that consistency, you'll get some results. Absolutely. And when you mentioned boosting, uh, for those of you who don't know, it's basically, um, let's say you put up a video ad on Facebook, um, they'll let you boost it for as little as five bucks a day or five dollars total or ten dollars or something like that. So you can get more traffic, more views on your 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 post. So right. it's just a great way to drive some traffic. Uh, definitely some good content here. <laughs> and let me add this. Another huge advantage of shooting video is it's cheap to mm. leverage Facebook to create a video view ad you could pay we paid as low as two cents for three second ten second views mm. what that means is you set a 25 30 dollar 50 dollar budget to run a video view ad for seven days the main uh purpose of running that particular video view ad is to gather data so after, after that seventh day, you can go back in and tell Facebook, okay, now I want to create a custom audience around everybody that watched this video for three seconds or for 10 seconds or 25% of the video. And now what you're doing is creating these custom audiences that are warmer. Yeah. So now you have, instead of cold, you got warm. And, and yeah. you just continue to retarget them yep. with an ad video view at whatever it is and the beast will feed you <laughs> That's right. it'll feed your leads somebody told me one time you're you're not necessarily looking to you're spent you're investing the money to buy data that's all you're doing that's it so that you can target the exact person that you want to target yes sir you got it <laughs> <laughs> that's how it is right yes that's how it works so do you, are you finding um and this is more of a personal question for me. Sure. Are you finding that, uh, I guess, in front of the in fr more personal videos versus professional videos are working uh, better or do, do you use them for different purposes? Very good question. And what we found in all, you know, in the videos and the testing uh, and the different ads and all that, uh, that we've, you know, that we've been using is that testimonial videos, if you want to get more, okay, if you want to get more business, all right, this is, this is real talk. If you guys really, really, really want to get a lot of leads, good quality leads, folks that's warm to hot and ready, the best way to get them is through referrals. Now, you need to leverage video testimonials. They don't have to be professional. You can just go to a closing and when that seller or whoever, seller buyer, that seller is happy, they're excited, ask them then, would you be open to doing a quick 15, 20 minute video or a 20 second video? Even if they say, oh Lord, I don't wanna be on video. Offer to give them a $50, $100 gift card whatever it takes, because let me tell you, we ran a video uh, testimonial recently uh, of buyers that were here from Zimbabwe, first time home buyers, got them a new bill house. Little did I know, I went, little did I know, because the story was, is, is incredible. I used my phone and videotaped that test, that, you know, them uh -huh. going in the house and excited. They started singing. They started singing a song, yeah. you know, in their native 
language, but wow. they were clapping and it was a song of thanksgiving and joy. And I was thinking, oh my God, we have to share this experience. We shared a little bit of the story, added the video, and we boosted. We boosted to um, my partner's Facebook page. We got a number of custom audiences, so we got a lot of you know folks target warm to hot. When I tell you, we spent like 80 bucks and she had already had like 20 leads. Wow. And five of those individuals, I believe five or six, have been pre-approved. They're ready. They're ready for a NACA program, a, um, a first time um, down payment assistance program, you know, just different things. But I, I had an aha moment. I said, you know what? This is it right here. So we have a number of video testimonials that we've gotten from the last probably two to three years. Now we're going to repurpose and leverage those videos to generate new leads for us. Wow. Powerful stuff. Powerful yeah. stuff right there. So video testimonials. You know, I, I just had a couple closings uh, this week. I, I was just telling you before we jumped on. And one thing I have to be honest, I lacked going out and getting. Man, you know, look here. I need, to get, I need to get with it this week so you, I can. <laughs> look here. I promise you, if, if, if you jump on that, I'm serious. And <laughs> you start marketing and putting them out there. You're going to start generating leads. Next thing you know, yo, your market expense is going to sh continue to just shrink. Because all you have to do is just hit go. And when you want to stop it, you hit stop. That's right. It's and like rinse cutting, and repeat. I tell people it's like cutting on a faucet. You can That's cut it. it on and cut it off. Cut when it you, off. Yes. Water, you, you cut it on, you don't want, you need to slow it down, you cut it off, right? That's it. That's right. Awesome. Awesome call. <laughs> so if our listeners wanted to get in contact with you um, and get more information on what you're doing, how, how can they do that? Sure. Go to watch, the word watch, dot takeactionlow.com. And that's going to take you to my YouTube channel. Got it. So I'm going to link your YouTube in the uh, description box below this uh, podcast episode as well. If you're listening to this on, let's say, Apple or Spotify or something like that, uh, be sure to check out the YouTube video on my page. And I'm going to link Lolita's uh, page to this video as well. Um, I know you're on uh, Facebook and stuff like that. Do you prefer YouTube only or? Well, I like, I like, I'm on Facebook as well. I, mm -hmm. I think I, I like uh, everyone to go to YouTube so they can kind of check out, you know, content. some other yeah. things. Yeah. Some other interviews and really get to know me. Uh, so through my channel. Sounds good. Sounds good. So if our listeners, um, if you're, if you're watching this video and you're uh, interested in finding out more on how you can get started using video, to drive motivated seller leads and even building your buyers list into your business. The lead is the, the, the head honcho in that, uh, in that uh, field there. You definitely want to check her out and check out her page. Uh, and I, again, I'm going to link it in the description box. Uh, are you reading any books right now at all? You know what I'm reading? Cause I have to, I'm reading my book that I wrote back in 2014. I'm finally, um, uh, finishing the audio version <laughs> wow is, is it going to be on audible yes nice yes. i'm going to get a copy of that well cool yeah. thank you but uh, honestly that's yeah that's that's what i've been reading <laughs> wow. I'm, I'm i'm in uh i'm an avid audio learner uh and i listen to audible all the time like i barely ever watch tv or anything yeah. like that i yeah. listen to listen to books when i'm working out and stuff like that that's all i do is listen to books um, so I'm definitely going to check that out. Let me know once the uh, audio version is done as well. I will. And I'm going to link your book in the uh, description box. Is, is it on Amazon or? It is. It's on Amazon. Okay, perfect. And it's called Take Action Low? Or take it's action? called Take Action, 21 Steps on How to Take Action and Get Results in Real Estate. 21 Steps on How to Take Action. And Get and Results. And Get Results in Real Estate. In real estate. Got yeah. it. I'm, I'm going to definitely link that in the description box uh, so that you guys can check out uh, Lolita's book and also uh, make sure you check out her channel as I've mentioned already now any last words for our listeners at all hang in there hang in there look here don't quit see that don't quit love it love it I gotta get one don't of those quit. shirts <laughs> I, I, I'll hook you up 
Sounds good. Sounds good. Don't quit. Take massive action. In order and hang to get, in there. And hang in there. And then the results will come at the end of the day. Absolutely. Guys, listen, this has been very inspiring for me personally. I know it has been for you as well. I'm looking forward to implementing some of what I've personally learned on uh, today's episode. Now, listen, I've been in the business for, uh, it's going to be 19 years now. Started when I was 21. I'll be 40 years old. What? Now, tell you, That's guys, awesome. <laughs> listen, for me personally, every single time, you hear, you hear me say it all the time. Every single time I talk to some, someone else who's uh, doing some type of investing or some type of business in general, I learn something. So that says a lot. You want to humble yourself, number one. I'm, I'm in a, uh, a mastermind group. I, I've done a call. I'm going to mention a name here. I've done a call with this gentleman before, um, but it's incredible um, what I'm about to say to you. Uh, Ron Legrand. So I'm in a mastermind with Ron Legrand and the guy's been around for 40 years buying houses and in the information space as well. And when we're doing our mastermind trainings, we, we do them biweekly on Zoom and then we have a meeting twice a year, right? When we're doing our mastermind trainings, you would think a guy who's been in the business for 40 years doing information in real estate and real estate he, he would think he knows it all. But this is the, one of the most humblest guys I've seen. He's the one taking all the notes and then implementing them right away. So that says a lot yes. about him. And it says a lot about why he's successful. So I, I say all of that to say this. Lolita's, uh, her, her slogan, so to speak, is take action, Right. Take the information that we spoke about today. Apply the information. Take action with it, yes. right? Pun intended. Because by you taking action, that's going to be the one thing that's going to get you to where you want to go. And it doesn't matter how long you've been in a business, you'll always learn something from somebody. So humble yourself if you've been around for a while. And... Uh, you'll be able to continue to learn. The person who stops learning starts dying. All right. So keep Absolutely. learning. Uh, always grow because if you're not growing, you are in essence dying. All right. And we want to reverse that. We want to make sure that you're taking action and doing what you have to do. Absolutely. It's been a real pleasure today uh, having you. And I definitely want to have you on in the, uh, in the future again. Guys, if you have any questions for Lolita, either you can check out her channel or Leave a comment in uh, the comment section of this video as well. Let us know what's on your mind, what questions you have. Maybe we'll do another interview with her or some other form of uh, content for you on YouTube and uh, look forward to, to getting your questions answered uh, for her, from her as well, okay? It's been a real pleasure having you today. Look forward to talking to you guys on the next one. And thanks a lot, Lolita. Thank you so much. It's been a real pleasure. Yes.